Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Kevin East Cape Skiffs. Mixing it up again a little bit. We're on the water today. Um, actually, it's uh, boat pickup day for Mr. Janik here. Say hi. Hey, what's <laughs> up? Uh, he's pretty stoked. As you can see, we're out here on his fury. I'm going to talk a little bit about the boat. Uh, first of all, it's got a custom blue going to it. It's got the off-white uh, as far as on the deck. He's got the Lavorsi lights, the stainless package. And what that is, is everything is just polished. The platform, the wheel, uh, the push-pull clips. But anyways, going bow backwards, here's, here's what we got. Uh, like I said, the custom blue, the Lavorsi lights. He's got the 12-volt uh, trolling motor system going on it, removable. Removable casting platform. Pete's actually standing on it to film this. There's three of us on the boat right now. And then, uh, you know, obviously he's got his uh, cooler area up front. He's got a center console with a jump seat. He also has a cool sound system going on it with an iPod uh, plug connect. Two rod holders on the side. Garmin 740S. I tell people all the time, if you could splurge on a GPS, get the best one you can. And right now the best bang for the buck is the Garmin 740S because it's touchscreen. Uh, touch screen it's a big uh, big unit so when you're running on a chop it's not shaking on you you can actually read it while you're running a lot of these smaller ones you got to slow it down you got to look and see where you are use the button to pan and all this stuff you don't have to do that with a Garmin 740 but anyways center console jump seat um, cup holders got to have the cup holders this is going to serve double duty for him and his kids and his wife V Marine the new style push pull clips you'll see that here a little bit they spin on and off push pull going on it power Bam! Here's what he wanted. He wanted the boat uh, with a 90 because he's always going to be doing the sandbar gig, live well full, his buddy's going out running around in Jacksonville. He didn't do it for the top end. He did it for the torque, the whole shot, and to be able to cruise at a higher um, you know, miles per hour than if he had a 60. If he was like most of the customers, then he would just do a 60 only. This is a lot of power. A uh, whole shot on this is half a boat length, if not less, literally. Speeds are going to be almost the same as the 60, just about 4 to 5 miles an hour more. So he's going to be in the mid-30s to the high 30s, and he might see it with uh, uh, in the low 40s with a speed prop. But again, E-Tech 90, sickest 90 out there going. Okay, so bam, there it is right there on the 90. Then we also have in the back here, we also have the stakeout system going on. Um, push pole, uh, or excuse me, pull a platform. Flat steps, grip tape so he can get on and off. You got the wiggle. Notice he's on the corner again. We talk about this all the time. Okay, Pete's up on the bow. I'm gonna come down here just so you guys can see what we're talking about. So there it is. There's two guys on the boat. Now boat's really light. So when we get more weight in the boat, it's actually not going to even tip over as much. So again, the tumble home design, the fat sponsons, that all helps when you're walking around landing fish. I see so many people, you know, doing this number and you see water already up here. We don't have to do that with our boats. East Cape's got it down right when it comes to fishing. Um, obviously everything else too, but fishing is actually what it's most important. But again, sick boat. Uh, I'm happy for this individual. It's going to be in Jacksonville, Florida. All you people out there in cyberspace that want to get a hold of Mr. Janik for either opinions on the 90 or his boat or want to see it or go for a ride, all you got to do is hit me up or hit him up. He's just a peddler on our forum. As always, I say like a broken record. If you're on the fence looking for a boat, who should they check out? East Cape. Peace. See you guys later.